Hey traders and investors, it's Serge Berger here. Uh, today we're going to have a look at Apple, and of course Apple uh, warrants a close uh, attention at any given point considering that it has the largest uh, market cap of any single name stock in the world. So uh, of course we got news from Carl Icahn just this morning, uh, Thursday, October 9th, that he wants the company to do some more uh, share buybacks and things like that. Thinks uh, he thinks the company is worth like more than 200 bucks or around 200 bucks. Of course, you can see now it's 100, around, around 102 bucks. Um, but I think a lot, a lot of a lot of uh, the analysis and something like an Apple can be very much simplified if uh, if we just kind of look at it through the lens of relative strength or relative weakness. And of course, if we look at Apple. While the market has been uh, dipping here a little bit over the past few days, uh, yes, uh, Apple has uh, seen a bit of a bit of a pinch too since uh, some of the product la launch that took place here. I guess it was the uh, the sixth or so of um, or the ninth of September. Uh, but in the bigger picture, what the stock has really done is just consolidated. I mean, it's it's given uh, some of the more active traders a, a bit of a, a more choppy kind of environment, but the stock has thus exhibited uh, what I would call relative strength, and that relative strength here is pretty well is pretty clear uh, through through just a very simple technical point of view where you can just kind of draw a couple lines, and you can see we're just draw in a near, more narrow range. Now, if you want to look at this through the lens of say something like candlestick analysis, um, when you can see basically the lows have gotten have uh, gotten rejected here very clearly several times and very quickly so here on the product launch on the 9th of September then again on this day uh, well I guess the following day on the 26th of September after trying to uh, getting support the, the previous day and then once again yesterday which was uh, Wednesday the 8th of October and today it's falling through the upside so this kind of strength is very visually obvious you can see that the stock wants to push higher um, at this point where would I be interested in buying a stock I think it closed somewhere above above $103 or so would make sense uh, to potentially get long the stock um, for that move that could probably take it to 108 110 um, in the not too distant future so uh, don't have to make it too complicated for some for a stock like Apple as long as we're aware of when they announce their earnings and we have the major uh, major major announced product launch launch dates and things like that uh, we can just kind of look for relative strength and relative weakness and, and uh, try map our trades that way and and the good thing with Apple is it also reacts well technically so from that point of view uh, risk of war should always be in the favor of uh, the trader as long as we place clear stops hope this makes sense guys as always if you got any questions you can hit me up on Twitter my Twitter handle is steady trader and I'll see you in the next video